guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have an Aldi haul for you today. Uh, this week I go back to work starting Wednesday. So I picked up a few things for that. And some convenience foods. I'm just kind of feeling blah today and decided I wanted some easy cooking. Um, I spent $45, but five of it isn't for me. So I will show you. So I'm right on budget. Yes. I picked up a three pack of lip gloss or chapstick lip balm for $1.99. And this is going to be for my trip. And one for me, one for my two cousins. And then I got the kids some Australian licorice. All natural, non-GMO, no high fructose corn syrup. For the car ride, um, I got my sweetener, like I always do. I got some sliced cheese. I picked up a three-pack of these. Now, this is $11.99, but there are 27 pieces of cheese and meat. It's really not a bad deal. And I'm going to cut these and separate them so I don't have to open them all at one time. And then eat them, you know, for my part-time job. I can take them for breakfast with some hard-boiled eggs and some guacamole. So here's a six mini cup. This is the clean one. They do have two different ones at Aldi. This one here is just avocado and veg. So that's the ideal one if you're trying to stay clean. There's not any preservatives, sugars, starches. I got some butter. I purchased, purchased, purchased three cream. One for work, two for home. Some coffee, which is upside down, but I can't reach it. And that's okay to take to work. Some pork rinds, um, three dozen eggs. I'll boil up a dozen, have two to cook with. The blackberries were 99 cents. So I grabbed two pints. I probably should have gotten more and I may go back for more later. Um, we're going to freeze them and I'll show you how I freeze my fruit. Strawberries, which I'm going to clean and prep and eat this week. And then I'm trying my bodum. Let me get this out of the way. Cold brew to try some tea. I had in my pack counter, no, in my cabinet. This mango tea I picked up in the Caribbean and I'm cold brewing it. Just some cold water, the tea leaves, and I'll put it in the fridge overnight. And this is mango tea. And it would just make iced tea. Um, but we're gonna try it and see what it tastes like. All right, so that's it for my haul. Like I said, it was about $45, but the licorice was $2.79 and the chapstick was $2. So I'm really under budget or on budget this week. I have plenty of meat in the freezer and yeah i just was really hungry for some fruit and some easy just grab and go foods so i will have you come along with me while i prep between today and tomorrow be right back all right we're gonna do a little bit of prepping um i have my containers for the strawberries my blackberries right now are rinsing or they've been rinsed they're draining in the sink and if you can see here i have separated or i'm going to separate these cheese and meat containers into three. I don't want to open them all because there's no way I'll be able to eat them all um, before. I don't think they'll go bad necessarily, but um, so yeah, they don't open, they don't separate. So I've got one there and then I'll go down this one here, which is not always easy with these um, this brace on, but I'm sore today, so I'm kind of going to leave it on for a while. So there we go. Now, in my little fridge container, caddy, I've got my three meats and cheese and then my guacamole. And then what I'll do is boil some eggs and take, like, a hard-boiled egg, a couple pieces of meat and cheese. That won't fit. A couple pieces of meat and cheese and a guacamole for breakfast, for work, when I start back. So I'll just open these one at a time. So this is gonna go in the fridge on my shelf that I put my like snacky work food. Now I want to boil some eggs, but not right this second. And I buy my eggs three dozen at a time. So these definitely need to be utilized for sure. 
and then I take these out of the fridge. And there's a couple reasons. One, I like the aesthetic, so what it looks like, but these are terrible, and I cannot tell you how many times I have spilled eggs onto my floor, and they've broken, because when I went to grab this container, it fell in half. Um, these eggs are like 88 cents a dozen, and I eat a fair amount of hard-boiled eggs. So that's my my whole egg prep and now I'll just put these in the fridge until I'm ready to boil my dozen but that works perfectly my blackberry containers goes in the trash we don't recycle here which I wish we did but I'm gonna contact some friends and see that have chickens if they need um, egg crates so what I do to freeze my fruit, or berries specifically, rinse them. I'll leave them out here to dry for a little bit longer. They're still a little moist. And I, it's just like a flash, I say flash freeze. It doesn't go any faster than a regular freeze. But if you freeze them individually, you can then bag them. And when you want just a small handful, you can just reach in the bag and they're not one solid clump of fruit. I do this with lots of stuff for my freezer, but I love blackberries. Oh. And when they're 99 cents a pound, or a pint, that is when it's time to purchase them. So I'll let them air dry a little longer and then they'll go in my freezer, put my cheese away. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is rinse my strawberries real quick and then we're going to cut them up. So I have them in the fridge prepared because again, for me, if it's all prepared and clean, I'll grab it and go. And the strawberries were, I think, $1.49, which I think is fair, you know, very reasonable price. Now, you can do the same thing with the strawberries that I'm doing with the blackberries. And the reason I'm not leaving it all out is there's no way I can eat all of this before they go bad because of the carbohydrates in them. This little containers help. This keeps them from sitting down in their own juices and kind of rotting early. And I got these at the Dollar Tree in the early spring. I have not seen them since, but they come back fairly regularly. I think during their deal days or something. Oh my gosh, so good. Mmm. So tonight I have to go to work at my part-time job. So what I'll do is take some meat, some cheese, some berries, probably strawberries since they're out, and that'll be my dinner. And then I'm not tempted to buy something that I really shouldn't have. I mean, I can literally have anything I want. It's not good for me, I won't feel well, and I won't, I'll just fall right off the wagon. So we won't be having any of that. I stay on plan, Stan. All right, I'll be back when I cook something else. All right, we're back to some more food prep today for the next few days. I'm gonna turn the oven on, get that warmed up. These are my blackberries. As you can see, they're frozen solid, but they're not stuck together which is what I want. That's why I freeze them on a tray. Then I got a baggie here. Oops, I just dropped it on the floor. I'll get that. And I throw them in the Ziploc and I'll put them back in my freezer. And then when I want them, I'll take out, you know, probably when I pack my lunch, five or six blackberries would be a serving. Put them in the thaw before I get to my lunch time. And if not, I'll just sit them on my desk. But those blackberries, that's $2 worth. I think that's a great deal. One went flying, I don't know where it went. I don't know, but I have decided I'm gonna make some cheesy bread for lunch. And then I took out my chicken wings for dinner. 
So I grabbed another freezer. I really, this worked out well timing wise for me. I have two pizza crusts left and I go back to work in two days. So really, I feel like I did a good job planning ahead, I suppose. Now what I'm gonna do, this is frozen, but I got the oven warming up to 350. I'm gonna put some olive oil down and some cheese and bake it with some garlic powder on top as well. And just make some cheesy garlic bread and then I'll dip it in pizza sauce. Just something different. But I wanted some olive oil on it and salt and pepper. So there's that. And I just used one of these like rubber silicone basters. There we go, got that done. I'll have to go get some garlic out of the cabinet, but first I put my cheese and the oven hasn't warmed up yet, which is fine. I mean, obviously I can make pizza, but I just felt like something a little different. Oops. And then a little Parmesan. Then I'm gonna bake it and I will be back and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. my breadsticks are out I put a little garlic and herb on top I'm not pushing with my left arm I'm just holding the knife so it doesn't go flying and I have let it cool because I knew I was gonna have to touch this pan and I'll show you what these look like put them on my little plate And it's just cheesy bread, and I'm gonna dip it in some marinara. Mmm, delicious. And that is lunch today. And then later I'll, I'll have to fall out my chicken wings and I'm gonna cook those up. And today is Sunday, and you'll see this on Monday. All right, everybody, I'll bring you back if I make something else. Okay guys, I know it's not a cooking video, but I'm going to end the vlog today with a bath. And I'm going to show you what I do for my eczema tub because I am breaking out. I use some Epsom salt and I'll use a fair amount of this. Like a half a bag. Which is about a cup. Actually, my it's bad today, so we're going to use it all. So I use one whole bag of Epsom salts. And then I have a Vino Skin Relief Moisture Bath. That's going in here. And that helps moisturize. The Epsom salt helps with the um, dry skin, and then I'm going to use a hibiscus pink clay bomb, which I have to open. It's in plastic and plastic. So hold on. All right, what I like about these is they're clear, so there's no dye in them. So we'll throw it in. This is my downstairs bathroom, like my guest bath, but it is a deep tub. So that's it. I'm getting my tub ready. I'm going to soak and you have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.